Registered Phenomena Code. RPC-579. Designation. Good night, everybody. Object Class. Alpha White. Hazard Types. Extraterrestrial Hazard. Containment Protocols. RPC-579 is held on a secure server in the Authority Database and may be accessed freely by Authority personnel. Description. RPC-579 is the designation given to an audio-based transmission picked up by Authority radio telescopes. The origin of the transmission is currently unknown, but its contents seem to suggest that it's from the extremely distant future. Conservative estimates place the transmission time at three trillion years in the future. Additionally, RPC-579 is able to be understood by all that listen to it, regardless of the languages that the listener knows. This is believed to be a purposefully created part of RPC-579 and is currently the main focus for research regarding the anomaly. Current theories suggest that the language spoken in RPC-579 is entirely composed of audio-based cognito hazards, which arrange sounds or words in the listener's mind to convey meaning. RPC-579 Transcript Data unreadable. Patients 8, 2, 1, and 35 have gone offline, which means that I am the last living organism in the entirety of the universe. Why am I transmitting this out? I am alone, orbiting a black hole that has kept the last of life in the universe alive for some billions of years. Well, there is a possibility of someone hearing it. But I doubt it. I mean, we used the last free piece of matter left in the universe some 200,000 rotations ago. And only now the power has finally gone out. I am only alive because I had a spare tank of oxygen and an EVA. I decided to head to the main control room, hoping that I could release a piece of the sphere to the black hole, just to give us a few extra rotations. But there was no more sphere left to give. I managed to make contact with some others who had managed to get in EVAs when the power cut out. But one by one, they died. And now I am all that is left. My grandfather used to tell me stories that were passed down from generation to generation. In one of them, he claims that there used to be twinkling white lights in the void. Stars, he called them. Massive balls of gas that were ablaze from the fusion at their core. The theoretical science made sense, but it's hard to imagine anything other than the singularity. I only have about ten minutes left on my oxygen. Ten minutes until the last star goes out. Suffocating to death doesn't sound like a good way to go. And the engineers appear to have also thought this, as the collapse sequence appears to have almost been initiated. I am going to press the last buttons required to collapse the superstructure. I doubt the substructure will hold out longer than 12 seconds. I guess that these will be the last words ever spoken. Good night, everybody.